green trunks and Alvira Karpinen and the white and teal, let's call it, rash guard. Brianna St. Marie, not just a one, but two time trials winner. Yep. As only one qualifies due to the division size being half of that of the men's categories here. And Alvira herself is an ADCC world veteran. A notable submission win over Mackenzie Dern in 2017 in Finland. But we have Brianna St. Marie here on top, and she has some of the best pressure passing I've seen in the lighter weight categories. Just incredible. Yeah, she's definitely somebody a lot of people are choosing to be a disruptor in this under 60 kilogram division. When you have names like Fionn Davis, Bia, Bia Basilio, Bia Mesquita, then you have Brianna St. Marie. And Brianna St. Marie definitely is the dark horse. She is the person with this Kimura trap that she implements so well off the pressure passing. And she looks so great at both East Coast and West Coast trials, like you said, clearing out both of them. It's going to be interesting to, de uh, interesting to see how she does in this bracket. So far, Avira doing a good job with this left knee shield, stopping the pressure coming forward by Brianna. But you can tell, look how much Brianna is gunning for that Kimura trap. She really loves to implement this Kimura trap, even going over the leg of Avira to try to initiate it. Where she wants to be. There you go. Kicks out, but still has the grip she wants. Here we go. A great Kimura attack. Brianna St. Marie has a devastating Kimura. Now she has the grip locked. But look at Elvira keeping her left shin stapled. Oh, gets tipped over the backside and now in an arm bar situation. Will Brianna St. Marie get the submission here in the opening three minutes of the first round? This is looking pretty good. She's got all the time in the world. They're not too sweaty yet. She's going to take her time here and look to finish this armbar. Yeah, and this is a great spot to be, Chase. I love that you mentioned that because it really does make a difference finishing a submission when you're sweaty versus when you're completely fresh. And it's only been 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Brianna St. Marie so composed, too. Eleven thousand people here in attendance at the Thomas and Mac Arena, and Brianna St. Marie looking to send a cheer throughout the crowd here. Taking her time to really extract this this arm in this uh, this submission, and Elvira staying patient as well. interesting thing about jiu-jitsu chase is both athletes have the responsibility to stay calm in this situation. Yeah, you don't want to panic, but Brianna St. Marie looking closer and closer here to breaking that grip and freeing the arm. Brianna St. Marie, interestingly enough, not really using her legs on the opposing arm of Elvira oh. Carpinen, but here we go. Maybe she doesn't need it. Looks like the armbar could be here any second. But as I said before, Chase, she's not using her other legs to interfere with the grip. She's mainly focusing on using her arms to break the grip. I think she really wants to keep the position Keep Elvira's head. Oh, and there, there it is. The there arm it is. Extended. Is that it? The arm is fully extended. It's barely rolling out. Oh, oh it's, my goodness. Oh, my God. It is so bad. The arm is, is so fully bad. extended. Triangle's and now on. And a triangle. Back to the arm. And she's and out. Elvira Karpinen is as resilient as they come. I don't know how you bend the arm any further than that. My stomach hurts, Chase. But now Elvira now is a, a noted attack? leg locker. Eye and a heel here. A leg attack of her own. 
Avira trying to volley back. They were okay. talking to her coach there. And she has learned that it is now points. <laughs> and put it on that pressure, put it on the smash, protecting her heel in the process. And the left arm of Brianna St. Marie in between her own leg and the body of Karpinen here. Stick it just really stapling her elbow to her hip and keeping that tight body pressure. It's going to stifle a lot of the ability for Elvira to get under the leg here. It's interesting, you have, a, you have a situation like earlier where we're screaming and we think the match is over and then Elvira just says, nope, I'm not done yet. Yeah, that was tough. A lot of heart from Elvira out there. But Brianna St. Marie is still pretty dominant here. And the thing that we have to wonder is, is that arm now compromised? How is that gonna play into the game of Elvira? As you guys just heard on mat three, Bianca Basilio is moving on to the next round of the bracket. Only eight people per women's division, so that definitely shakes things up. And this has been a very slow progressing pass for Brianna St. Marie. Now that she's found the position that she feels a, she needs to defend because any wrong move can yield Elvira getting into a leg entanglement, but also just staying tight on the pressure. Her hips are always facing towards Elvira. She's doing a great job of keeping the pressure going forward and not being too far over the top to where she gets knocked off balance. Underhook just got a lot deeper for Brianna St. Marie. Watching the, the slow metamorphosis of a completed pass here. Yeah, no, Viver really just stuck. Let's put it like it is. Her shoulders are nearly flat on the mat. That underhook, so dominant control point here. And you can see Brianna St. Marie trying to open the guard here. There it goes. Beautiful work, and that's what I was talking about at the beginning here, that pressure passing style, never moving backwards, inching forward. That was beautiful. Absolutely. And Three you know, points that, on the board. That underhook chase, really, you saw Elvira really doing everything she could to turtle up, but that underhook on the far side, it was such a serious roadblock. So that now Brianna St. Marie can comfortably work from turtle position without any sense of urgency. She's up by three. Yeah, with just a minute left. I'm sure she, she's a little surprised there with Elvira's durability. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think everybody in the crowd was too. But right back to it. Now, let's see if we switch back to uh, another Khmer trap or keep hunting this, uh, this guillotine and chin strap action here. With 50 seconds left, I imagine Brianna St. Marie will just try to conserve her energy for the next round. So far, she has looked exactly as I'm sure we all expected her to. Very impressive. I'm now really hunting this guillotine here. Even in the wake of potentially 
giving up points, let's say the, the guillotine doesn't work. She's fine with that. But seeing as she did initiate the guillotine, doesn't matter anyway, Brianna St. Marie moving on to the next round. Beautiful performance. What we thought would have ended a long time ago, but the endurance and the, the tenacity of Elri Elvira Karpinen. Winner on that one, Brianna St. Marie. Very, very impressive.